if you're sitting comfortably, then we'll begin. And, uh, and welcome uh, members to the 15th meeting in 2016 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Apologies have been received from Stuart Macmillan, and we welcome George Adam, who is attending as a substitute for Stuart today. Um, we move now to Agenda Item 1, which is our instruments subject to negative procedure. And we will discuss firstly Caseins and Caseinates Scotland Number 2 Regulations 2016, SSI 2016 Number 422. And this instrument implements an undertaking provided by the to the Committee by the Scottish Government to urgently revoke the Caseins and Caseinates Scotland Regulations 2016. SSI 2016 number 383 and to lay a corrective instrument. This committee reported a number of errors in SSI 2016 383 which appeared to be points of defective drafting. Perhaps most importantly, an unintended consequence of those regulations was to make it an, an, an offence not to enforce the regulations. The errors were due to an issue with version control. This corrective instrument was laid before the Parliament on the 15th of December 2016 and comes into force on the 21st and 22nd of December 2016. The instrument does not respect the requirement that at least 28 days should elapse between the laying of an instrument which is subject to the negative procedure and the coming into force of that instrument. As regards its interest in the Scottish Government's decision to proceed in this manner, the Committee could find the failure to comply with Section 28 to be acceptable in the circumstances. The reasons for doing so are outlined by the Chief Executive of Food Standards Scotland in his letter to the Presiding Officer of 14th of December 2016. So, does the Committee agree to draw the regulations to the attention of the Parliament under Reporting Ground J, as the instrument fails to comply with the requirements of Section 28.2 of the Interpretation Legislative Reform Scotland Act 2010? Thank you. Does the Committee also agree to find the reasons for doing so to be acceptable in the circumstances? Thank you. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the following instruments. Valuation for Rating Decapitalisation Rate Scotland Regulations 2016 SSI 2016 number 402 or the Road Traffic Permitted Parking Area and Special Parking Area East Lothian Council Designation Order 2016 SSI 2016 number 407 or the Parking Attendance Wearing of Uniforms, East Lothian Council Parking Area, Regulations 2016, SSI 2016, number 408, or the Road Traffic Parking Adjudicators, East Lothian Council, Regulations 2016, SSI 2016, number 409, or the Community Empowerment Miscellaneous Amendments, Scotland Regulations 2016, SSI 2016, number 411, or the Regulation of Care, Prescribed Registers, Scotland Amendment Order 2016, SSI 2016, number 413. So, is the committee content with these instruments? We are. Thank you. Moving now to Agenda Item 2, which is instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Act of Sedan Sheriff Court Rules Amendment Electronic Authentication 2016 SSI 2016 number 415 or Burial and Cremation Scotland Act 2016 Commencement number 1 Transitory and Transitional Provisions. Read that again. Burial and Cremation Scotland Act 2016, Commencement Number 1, Transitory and Transitional Provisions, Regulations 2016, SSI 2016, Number 417. So is the committee content with these instruments? Yes. Thanks very much. And this 
is and has been the last meeting of the year, and we will return here again for a meeting on the 10th of January 2017. Meantime, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and thank you for all your help this year. Thank you.